new day, new way for our versus game of War for America. And um, I just got good news from my work that we're a couple weeks out <laughs> before we start. So I just got a two week vacation extension. <laughs> Life is fat. Oh, I told him I'd stop in. I got uh, our, our mechanics at work got to work year round. And uh, they always got stuff to do. But whenever I go in and ask them, I go, how you doing? I go, you working hard? And they usually ain't doing much. And I've had months to, at least a couple months to work on my truck. So I usually got to go in there and kick a little butt. Because <laughs> I'll go there in the spring and it would not, nothing going to be done or worked on. So I got a trip to work to make and get things ready for the uh, year coming on up. It's going to be eight, nine months of oh, just trying to get in six hours sleep. And believe me, during the time when I do it, I always ask myself if it's worth it. And it, it is now. It's 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 great. I, I haven't worked since uh, right before Christmas. So I cannot complain one bit. One thing that's different, though, is... Uh, wear and tear on the on the body. I feel great now. I haven't had any problems, but as soon as I get back to work, <laughs> it'll be one week, and oh man, but it is what it is. Let's uh, get on with this game. I have won the uh, initiative. So let me see what we were doing. I forgot what plans we had and everything else. It's been a while since I have sat down here at this game. So let me get myself up to date. It's the only problem with the emails. Uh, although I can't complain, uh, a night or so ago uh, is when we had that nice little uh, nice little marathon. So I cannot complain from my uh, opponent. We make my moves and email them off and see what we can do for a day. We're back. All right, then. Excuse the background TV, but we were watching Dark Arts, one of our favorite shows. Uh, here you go. We're going to try to uh, activate a little Putnam. Be back with the Dassel or Vassal Dassel Vassal die roll. We'll be right back. Then for the die roll for Vassal, what we call the Dassel die roll. <laughs> uh, he failed, son of a bitch. All right, so that screws my plans all and all up. I wanted him to go in here and uh, reinforce Lincoln, so move him one, yeah. two. And I guess he'll be in there in Norwich with uh, oh, yeah. Washington with his four strength points. We'll leave two. Here in Fort Halifax. There we go. Uh, yep, that's all I could do. Let me see if I got a card. We'll be right back. Alright, yep, no cards. Used all my extended archers. Could have used that one. That five roll really messed up my plans. So, we'll put them. There at Norwich. Norwich is built up. It's our key, but man, we wanted to get somebody in there to block any reinforcement or Titan or over from this big old army. I think Fraser's got about 10 strike points. We'll see what the uh, British response is. I will send off my vassal log. And I just checked the vassal. I put an ad in there because I didn't know how long it was going to be before this, my opponent was going to get up on the game. And uh, I haven't gotten any response, so nobody wanting to play the War for America. No, I ain't got no time to play. I should take the ad down, but yeah, I just checked that out. Nobody wants to play uh, War for America, which is good. Like I said, I'm busy here. Uh, I, I just got uh, noticed that with, hopefully within two weeks. Like I said, I've been in this play business for 15 years, and we're lucky to be going by the middle of April. But uh, so there's plenty of time for development and play. I want to get done with this game, and I think we got a oh we got a little we got a little folio game here. Let's see. Uh, this is a oh yeah, I want you know you gotta bring the whole house down. We got one of these mini game series. Now I, I think the one I'm getting is gonna be a folio game series. This is part of the mini game series, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get us another one of these that deals with the naval aspect. And as little as these things are, they're pretty deep. These are some nice games in here. They're just small on uh, impact, but uh, I'll be back. All right, well, we moved everybody in there. But we gotta watch out for militia maximums in New Hampshire. In New Hampshire, I believe, has a uh, militia maximum of six. Oh, let me see here. Yeah. Let me hold on here a second. All right, sorry about that. Enjoy the silence. <laughs> I don't hear it that bad, but boy, when I turn and watch my videos, you can hear that heater. And I'm sure I, I don't usually have TVs on in the background, but I'm sure that was a wild pain in the butt. So, uh,. Let's see here. Okay, militia maximums, New Hampshire 6. Now, Maine is not listed anywhere. Let me give you the chart here. 
under New England. Maine is not listed. So I don't know if it wasn't a colony yet or what the status of that is. Because we do have militia in there. Now it is the same color as everything else here. So it's a New England. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's a New England region. So I haven't had any protests from my uh, opponent about it. So we're going to go ahead and keep in mind others only since there ain't no militia maximums. You know, we got five of them in there, but there's no militia maximums listed for Maine. So I'm kind of a little house rule there. Uh, but we do have our militia maximums of six here in Norwich. Now we got a big old army of the north there. We also got Warren in charge of that little militia army. And uh, in Washington's army. We just got beefed up. He has now got Skyler. He's joined the party. Or Putnam, rather. With Washington, Putnam just brought in four regular strength points. So now we're up to 11. He's able to command 20. All right. So we are waiting on the response by the British. Let's see what they want to do. Be back. He has got... Oh, Grant is activated from Albany. And he moved one. He passed his uh, activation. He gets four movement points. One to Saratoga. He dropped off one strength point. Picked up Frazier. Three British regulars. Uh, he's moving into Fort Edward with this force. That's after dropping off some Germans. So there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me check the vassal log. It's all right compared to it's the only bad thing about going back and forth into rooms. Yeah, let me make sure that's right. But if, uh, if it is, this is what it looks like. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I didn't know he had ten, but I guess he does. He just drops them off, so I don't know how he could have did that. Huh? We'll give it to him. He started from here. He's there with ten strike points. That'll be an eight to one automatic. Let me see if my boy he's even got a retreat route. They do not. So it'll be an eight to one. We'll see what goes on with the overrun. And then, well, is that his four? One, two, yeah, no, he'll, be, he'll get in there. He's into Fort Edward with two movement points. He's got two left over, boy back. All right, well, I thought he jumped a gun because I looked on the vassal log. <laughs> Old boy's already got his troops in there, but after looking at the procedure, there's no, there's no squalms about it. He pretty well overran Fort Edward and he is in there. Now, I. He doesn't have anybody else in Fort Edward. But you can see you can't really get there straight. You have to go through. So he has to put somebody into Saratoga to an Albany. I guess that would be a key space. For me, yeah, okay. That's why he put two in there. But there you go. We'll figure out how he wants to straighten all that out with his Army of the North. I'll look at his display. Oh, after I do that, I'll straighten it out. But other than that, that is just the procedural. We are done with the late summer, 1776 going into the winter there you go I don't know if you move the 1777 marker till early spring I guess winter so we'll do it so we'll move over from fall to winter 1777 I guess we check back with my opponent and see what's going on but that is how it stands you got somebody in there that'll bolster that army of the north under Carlton is that Carlton Oh, let me see here. There you go, yeah. Well, you can bolster them up all you want. You can't leave there with that, with that general. So we'll see. Uh, I haven't looked at the display yet, but that'll be the maximum one. Two, three, four. Okay, well, he can't move there anyway. He can't move from there. That's the extent of his movement, so maybe that might not be reinforcing him. We'll see. We'll be back with the logistics, and when we come back, it'll be the winter. 1776, 1777. It'll be only a two action pulse in that action cycle. We'll get that ready now by putting our old boys up here under the two. Only short season for the winter. We will get these guys out of the way. No one I one last time in case it's a tie on a die roll. Alright, a little note to be made about this short two pulse. Winter turn. Then it comes up to spring. There ain't much going on up here. Let me look at underneath Halifax still. Yeah, just one strength point and a fleet. And that fleet don't add its points. It just adds a modifier. Them three points, I guess, come when uh, fleets have uh, 
battle or engage in enemy fleets. And we've yet to have that aspect of the game come in through this game or my previous learn through. We haven't gotten that far, so uh, we're getting up there to uh, 1777 in this game. Oh, let me see what else is going on. Make sure that is it for my opponent. We'll be right back. All right, the British are turning in their uh, loyalist chit. So, ooh, I didn't see that one coming. Forgot all about that. Well, obviously, my opponent didn't, and I was just getting ready. <laughs> Good thing I checked their uh, vassal log. All right, well, we got to come down here, and uh, he's got it all worked out. We'll find out what his results were. But loyalist strength points, there's his maximums he can have. He will be rolling right here. We'll be right back. He has rolled a three. And right here, this is where it comes into effect. Now, if it was my militia, we, would, we wouldn't count that as anything. Two and three don't mean nothing. Uh, that uh, only comes into effect with loyalists. So he rolled a three, which means he only gets half. We'll go over here to the loyalist strength points. Now, in the middle states, he gets ten, so he'll only get five to deploy anywhere he wants. In the middle states is the way he is defining it and I believe that is correct also when it comes to his maximum numbers uh, he has to have a space open so if I have all these spaces uh, covered which New Hampshire doesn't apply oh that 1775 loyalist doesn't count towards maximums all these ones on the board already don't count towards maximums so we will be right back all right then for his middle states loyalist chit he has turned in Cast it in, he could only get half. He rolled a three, it was a maximum of ten. The New England uh, Middle States region is this whole region right here in yellow. So he has deployed over this way. Interesting enough. One, two, three, and he's got two there going into Fort Ticonderoga to beef that on up. So there you go. Kind of beefed himself up there. Yeah, all right. And like I said, there's certain maximums. One, two, three, four, five, I think six. I think this one here is in New Hampshire, so we'll just give him that. But uh, that will be his uh, final deployment before winter. Oh, good turn. Good, very interesting. I forgot all about his old uh, chits. Now, he does have, how we both have, chits here. Now, I cannot activate my militia in Tidewater until British troops come on in. So as soon as the British bring their troops in in these new other territories, the alarm goes off and we... Uh, get our militias. I do get regular unit levies, so in other words, units are being trained now for the spring to have a whole bunch of colonial uh, regular troops here in another turn or so, and he will have his reinforcements. He's run, I don't see too many reinforcements coming out in anymore, so I think that would be it. We have to keep track of my strength points on the board. They cannot be more than 40, so we'll be right back. Got to remember to put that unit into Ticonderoga. Make sure that's the way he deployed it on the Vassal app, and we'll be right back. All right, there I got it straightened out. In Ticonderoga, he's got his army of the north underneath there. And he's got him maxed out to 20 strike points. There's his army of the north. Unfortunately for him, and I'm, I will definitely remind him, Carlton can't leave Canada. The further south he goes, Ticonderoga. Whether he's aware of that or not, we'll see, but he has 20 strike points. Uh, so there you go. Now, also in that spot, there's the strongest point on the planet, I think. <laughs> He's got Grant. Let me just get this pile for you. And he's got these jump boys here. He's got a couple, oh, he's got a couple French generals. Oh, okay, there's some loyalists there, but mostly. All right, and they are capable of commanding the Germans. So there you go. Now the Germans, on the other hand, have to have more Germans than British if they want to command British. So, but as far as the British go, commanding Germans, they can. We'll see what is up with that. So I'm pretty sure it's just a point. We'll be back. All right. Well, it does matter. And I had it the wrong way. He has Fraser in charge of that army, not Grant. And it makes sense because he's a better general. So there you go. And he is almost at his maximum. He can uh, command 10. He's got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is a separate uh, army group than the Army of the North, but they are all in Ticonderoga. There you go. 
keeping up on maximums for loyalist militias can't cross on over these militias here can't cross on over there these militias here all that other good stuff well that's a good game and we will be back for a initiative die roll first one of the winter i think we're all caught up here let me make sure we don't have any winter reinforcements Ooh, let's see here uh fall yep it goes from fall to the early spring on this one fall to early, oh fall to winter continental attrition oh that's oh well, let's check this out way back making note that all winter quartering continental attrition and oh winter quartering takes place after our two action rounds so i don't have any fleets and hopefully my opponent uh, I'll, I'll leave a little note that says, you know, look over the winter rules, winter and quartering rules. But there you go. And another thing is we can only move two strength, two movement points, strength points. We can only move two movement points, and it's only a two-action cycle turn. I think during our learn through, we moved regular. So in this game here, only two movement points. We'll put a big old note on it on the board. We'll be right back. Colonials gain the initiative. Go. And there's only two action pulses. We can only move two. Let me see if we get some light on over here. Here we go. So it seems a little dark in here. All right. Uh, we will be back. All right. Well, with only two action pulses, we got to move. And this little circle space there is not going to sustain my army. I have to get down to a coastal space. And this little chart here will be key. You thought I should have had it here for you. I'm sorry. Bad host. Oh, horrible host. Here we go. This is a key way to keep this up. Coastal space is 15 strike points, so we gotta get there in a little circle space. I'm on only can hold five. And I ain't got much time and I ain't got much movement. So I only moved two, two uh, groups of units. Oh my god, we might get stuck with it. Let me see if I want to save. Well, we gotta save that first, so we will roll for. Oh, I can't even. Who was in charge? There's a Gates. Yeah, Gates, five or less on the vessel. D roll. We'll be right back. Gates, our man, he's on board with it. But he can only move two movement points. Ouch! That won't even freaking get me there. Yeah, it will be. We'll have to fight it out. One, two, that'll be one, two, three. Oh, I get, oh, you can only move two movement points this turn. So Gates is leaving Sheboygan. I guess we'll leave all of these guys here. One, two, three, four, five. We'll be all right there. But I got more than that here, so I'm going down here to Brunswick. And we'll have us a eight to one. Yeah, that'll be an automatic victory. Overrun. We'll be right back and see what we do with the British unit. We'll be right back. All right. Only pain is waiting on the reply, but we finally have gotten it, and he attempted to escape. Needed a one or two, and he rolled a five. So we have made our little spot here. That'll be it for my action pulse. I think everybody else is pretty well good. Uh, this little spot here with our three militia. We can hold five. We'll look at it when our turn comes up, but that'll be it for our oh, action pulse. Yeah, we can't create any magazines till spring we're gonna need units there to to uh build them we'll have to see what's up we need them closer i think we need them in this spot here for a little exploitation of halifax if it stays with one uh action point he might be sleeping on that one we'll find out but he might not right now he's sleeping at the switch and it is lightly garrisoned and if i capture it it's game but that's a long ways off all right that is our winner first turn we'll be back for a British uh, response when we get an email it might be a while but be real quick in the video world I'll be back back 